just a quickie. So these new transistors, they actually work okay. I'm not quite sure. What I've done here is I've put in, that's the um, opto-isolator. <coughs> and I just put the output transistor in a Darlington <coughs> with a BC148. No, it's not. It's a 5 button, I think. Uh, and that's driving the gate. So, let me look. Let's see. Circuit. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about those ones. But basically, the output from it goes in to a Darlington. Forget that bit. Uh, and this goes into a, a 6N136. Uh, uh, okay. So, kind of this guy here. Well, it's going to be a better one. <coughs> right, there we go. So that's a 6N136. And that's that white one down there if you can see it because the light level's not too great and then the output here I basically put in a Darlington with a second one and that brought the voltage up quite nicely to the gate voltage I tried it doing directly from the IGBT itself it wouldn't work because uh, it was only giving me a couple of volts <coughs> so this is connected to the positive and so is the collector of the internal transistor and then the output is connected in the Darlington with a second. Um, this guy here, the BC547. And then the um, emitter from that is connected to the gate. And also across the... Um, uh, across the... Uh, effectively the gate is the LED with a 1K... Uh, is it? Yeah, it's a 1K um, resistor, so that's effectively switching the gate off. Not a fast switch, but it's good enough. And I've got a control here. This control here is just simply linked into the ADC input, which then controls the um, PWM output. It's actually an explicit PWM output. Let me show you the code. I think it's this one. So I modified this one slightly. Um, this is just a a uh, PWM. That all that does is just alters the frequency of the PWM. So I change it. So in, instead, it alters the. Um, we call it the duty cycle. That's it. So it changes the duty cycle. The frequency is fixed, and you can see the LEDs come on. And that noise you can hear is the motor. I'm get it into the light so you can see, and then. Can get it in, and you can see. Uh, you can see it too well, can you? Let me just put it like that. I can control the speed, and then I'll just do a. There you go. So you can see it. There you go. You can see it turning. Control the speed. And it's actually quite low frequency. Yeah, that needs getting a bit warm because probably the uh, the PWM is low, but then also it's probably a very, very slow switch on and off. Well, probably a good switch on, but a bad switch off. And there you go. Let's see what the voltage on the motor is. Probe in, where's the, what's the probe, there it is, <coughs> excuse me, let's try and uh, push the probe in, just give me a second, hello, how are you doing, uh, that should be to the motor, ah, right, well that's actually not across the motor, that's across, um, where is it across, so it's showing 12 volts, and that's across the supply. But the motor itself is connected to the positive, so I should push that in there. Let's see if I can get that there. Let's get it in there. Let's get it in there so it's uh, metering it. There we go. Right, that's better. So now it's showing zero, and I should be able to. 
Yeah, there you go. <coughs> we should get an average supply. That's just negative because it's the wrong way around. So it's not going up to 12. You can see I can hold it. Five volts. And get them for 11. Yeah. We're quite low voltage. I mean, these guys are. Yeah, it's quite warm. And what I'm doing is I'm using one to the. This one's the switching, and this one I'm just simply using the back EMF diode across the motor. So, similar to this, but not the same. Yeah, basically, I've got that one there just simply using its back EMF diode, and then this one's doing the switching. Right, this part of the circuit is different, but the rest of it is pretty much the same. Yeah, I've got the LED in line there, which is this LED at the back. So to drop, because these outputs are 3.3 volts, so that's 1.5 volt, 1.5 volts, 3 volts, 0.3 is not that accurate. And on this side we've got the resistor, which is this guy here. In the middle, that isn't there. And uh, I've tried two of these so far, and I don't think they work very well. You know, it's supposed to work, and had it working, well, this circuit clearly works. So I think I've probably wasted my money on them things. That's the second one. I don't know what it is. When you make it up into a chip like that, they just don't work properly. <coughs> so I've actually got my own circuit. Yeah, but that bit's the same. There's the motor, and then we're using that back EMF down there just simply to make sure the motor doesn't kill anything. Yes, and those are killed down again. So yeah, I'm pleased. These are working. Thank you.